Hi and welcome to Elite Mind Academy. This is another episode of AI in Power BI series. Today I'm going to tell you about the decision tree visual that Microsoft brought in November update of Power BI Desktop. Enjoy! So here I am in Power BI Desktop, November edition, and you can immediately see that there's, uh, there's a big difference between this edition and the previous one. Uh, specifically, if you look at the, at the top, uh, top of the screen, you will notice the ribbon that looks actually more like the office one. So you can see that uh, my, my, uh, my, my Power BI actually reminds more uh, applications like Excel. Uh, additionally, I can, I can turn uh, minimized or compact mode of this ribbon and just have this nice little buttons instead of the uh, full ribbon. But, uh, but we are going to focus on uh, the decomposition tree uh, visual, which is one of the three uh, AI-based visuals in Power BI uh, delivered, delivered among standard visualizations. So those three visuals, as you, as you can see, uh, they are differentiated with this uh, little bulb icon. Uh, but uh, this, but decision tree is uh, uh, one of the most uh, one of the most required and ex expected visuals. Uh, people tend to use uh, to use apl applications like um, um, ProClarity, for example. So historically, Microsoft Microsoft delivered uh, the composition tree visual, but not in Power BI. So now we have uh, we have the composition tree in Power BI natively supported by Microsoft. And I will show you uh, how you can use this visual to make some uh, to make some analytics and and have g gain some insights. Uh, I have this uh, very very simple report on uh, Superstore data. This is retail this is retail data, um, mostly presenting uh, some sales data. Uh, data set is based on two tables, orders and products. Not very complicated data set, and I will try to analyze uh, how my sales, which is my base base measure, is impacted by different uh, attributes like market, like uh, order priority, uh, like uh, segment, uh, like sh like ship mode, and maybe I will add also a category. Uh, those tables are related to each other, so I should see also the impact of categories. Uh, I can see some numbers on the left, so I, I can see the number of orders and the sales, uh, the, totals, the total sales amount from those orders, as well as I can see top five product subcategories which impact my sales the most. Uh, so uh, let me make this visual a bit more appealing. So I will eliminate but the background and also I will choose different colors so, to make this uh, to make this visual um more looking like my report let me sh let me choose the color green or, or let's say uh, somewhere something between green and and, and blue for a positive bar and uh, maybe yellow it doesn't really matter because cells will be always positive um as a negative virus and uh, also i have this option which is uh, quite quite uh, important option for me uh, enable ai splits which allows me to not just uh, not just uh, divide this this uh, ana this analysis uh, by different attributes, but also to look for the uh, the attributes that uh, uh, have some 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 uh, serious impact on my on my measure. So you will see in a moment how this looks like uh, from the user perspective. So I I have this AI splits turned on, and that's actually it. I can start my analytics by clicking on this. A little plus icon, and you can see I can I can uh, slice and dice by uh, different attributes that I put in in my uh, property uh, in in my visual. So I can immediately start with, for example, market to see that Asia and Asia Pacific was the was the best the best the best selling uh, market. I can also uh, interact with this visual, so I can select path Asia Pacific sales. And uh, the other visuals are, are filtered or highlighted. Actually, let me switch the format and uh, turn on turn on filtering instead of instead of highlighting, just to make sure that I can analyze uh, things in my on, in my, my on my way. 
so I can I can see like uh, for example what's what, what's the sales in Europe and, and stuff like this, uh, but that was uh, that was of course uh, quite easy. I, mean, I can and I can um, uh, continue this kind of analytics by dividing by other other attributes. However, I can also see what was the biggest impact of other attributes on the sales in Asia and Pacific by selecting high value. So this is this AI split which I shown you in a, a, a second before in my uh, visualiz visualization uh, configuration. And that, that tends me to see uh, what was the, among other attributes, what, what was the biggest, uh, the most impactful attribute uh, to, to generate sales in Asia Pacific. And that was ship mode standard class because, because most of the orders uh, come with this ship, shipping mode and uh, I can continue this high value analytics. I can see that order priority medium generate, generated the most of, of my revenue as, as well as segment consumer, which is probably the most popular. Uh, so it's typical B2C scenario. Uh, and, that, and you can you can do this, this kind of analytics. You can also still select more complex uh, paths like uh, consumer medium standard class Asia Pacific. And you can see uh, uh, what was the actual impact? How many orders it generated? Uh, what was the, what was the total sales, and how it impacted uh, subcategories? So it's it's pretty useful. Uh, it's not one. It's, if you if you're asking about how it works, it's not completely uh, AI. I mean, it, this is this is not the machine learning model underneath. It's rather it's rather uh, automation of some user actions. Normally, what you would do uh, if you wanted if you want to find uh, the highly the highly uh, impacting attributes you have you would have to build some uh, aggregations on every single uh, attribute one by one on your own uh, while Power BI can do it for you and present pre present this this information in uh, in a, a very visual uh, visual and visual, very appealing uh, uh, mode so actually this 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 could be one of the one of the uh, most uh, useful visuals for for quick ad hoc analytics uh, if you deal with uh, with challenges uh, around finding the most impactful uh, members of your dimensions um, uh, for for uh, generating some uh, some kpis and that, and i really encourage you to try it uh, also, uh, please uh, please remember that you are not limited to this uh, uh, this uh, area of the visual. I can uh, I can just move the this this decision tree uh, left, right, top, and bottom. So it can be more 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 and more um, uh, more and more complex in terms of the number of attributes than the number of members. It's actually it's actually. Um, Pretty, pretty, pretty much scalable. So you can you can see that uh, actually this analytics can be can be quite complex. The decision tree visual in Power BI is another visual, so-called AI-based after Q&A and key influencers visuals delivered in Power BI. As you can see, the direction is to minimize the effort that you may that you may take as a business analyst or business user. Uh, to, gra to, to grab some insights from your data. You just simply uh, put the attributes and uh, the, var the variables uh, you want to analyze and then the visual is actually doing it for you. You may, you may track the, how your different, different attributes of your, of your uh, data entities uh, influence the, the, the key metrics, the, the KPIs. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe us and watch our other, other videos. Enjoy.